Scooter wars are heating up in Portland. Today marks two weeks since electric scooters arrived in the city. Our investigative reporter Gabrielle Carroll, though, says one of those companies, Skip, is calling its competitors hypocrites. She joins us now live to explain why, Gabrielle. Well, Dan and Jennifer, these e-scooters are being billed as an environmentally friendly transportation option. But in its application to be part of Portland's pilot program, Skip says that its competitors' practices seem to be the height of hypocrisy. Here's why. Skip accuses accuses its competitors of not repairing broken or damaged scooters. Instead, Skip says the competition is simply shipping in new scooters from China while it warehouses the broken scooters with plans to dispose of them in landfills. Skip says that these practices would allow the competitors to keep more scooters on the road, keeping utiliz utilization rates high. Lime emailed us a statement saying that these allegations were unfortunate and did not reflect the company's practices. Bird refused to comment for this story. Uh, and it is worth noting that Skip in its application did not name these competitors, but seemed to point fingers at companies with a lot of money to spend. For context here, both Bird and Lime have raised hundreds of millions of dollars, while Skip has only raised $31 million in financing. That's still a lot of money, but not a lot compared to some of its competitors. We are continuing to cover this story. We'll have all the information online at coin.com. And if you see anything with regard to these scooters, please reach out to us on Twitter. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Gabrielle Carroll, Coin 6 News. Back to you. They are